Hi everybody, this is Katerina. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to use this beautiful eyeshadow palette from F. Saint Laurent. Look at how beautiful and gorgeous these colors on my eyelid. Please stay in my channel. Also, I'm gonna show you moisturizer, which one I really like it. Yes, it's very expensive. It's $400, but I think it's worth this much okay stay here I will teach you how to create this look follow me on Instagram Katya Beauty Styles and please message me comments or let me know what another look you want me to create for you okay let's start girls Let's do skincare first. I'm gonna use right now Clarins Serum, and this is serum, it's a treatment for pores. I have a large pores, and this is one of my favorite, favorite serum. Again, this is brand Clarins, it's botanical line, and why serum we use them first? Because it's come to your skin much more deeper than any moisturizer. And for moisturizer, oh my god, look at this baby what I have. It's Giorgio Armani Supreme Rejuvenating Light Cream. It is $400 girls <laughs> it's really expensive but if you spend in your money spend your money right this is it's a moisturizer it's addressed 10 signs of aging also this moisturizer um, good to firm your skin for discoloration also it's loss elasticity it feels really really light and it's not heavy and this is like if I again if I will spend 400 or 400 500 dollars moisturizer I will buy Giorgio Armani moisturizer because it's a really it's a lot of technology in this moisturizer it's not just hydration yes it is 24 hour hydration but again it's address 10 signs of aging and for dark spots for dryness clarity lines wrinkles everything what I need because after 40 you I need to use good stuff okay <laughs> now for eye I'm gonna use diamond extreme eye from Natura Pese um, brand and this is it's a great great eye cream it's not heavy and it's very light okay skincare it's done for today and then should we do foundation first and concealer or later on you know what let's do let's do eyes first because today i'm gonna use this brand new brand new of Saint Laurent eyeshadow palette. Who look at this gorgeous, gorgeous palette. This is can be a nice, beautiful clutch. But look at this eyeshadow inside. Wow, this is so so pretty, and they are big. Yes, it is one hundred. I uh, it's more than one hundred dollars. I don't remember price, but of course we're selling this eyeshadow in all this product at Nordstrom. You call me, reach me, and I will send you home with your beautiful gift. <laughs> I don't even know which one we're gonna use today. Probably I want to try this yellow. This is it's really really attractive yellow in here and it's have a little bit shimmer again I don't know if it's pigmented if it's not pigmented but let's try okay let's do primer from MAC and then we're gonna apply eyeshadow okay if you have any question please message me about moisturizer or anything one I use I will answer for you okay first item it's eyeshadow primer from MAC it's very creamy and rich and I'd like it to cover my pigmentation which one I have on my eyelid and if you want your eyeshadow to stay you must use primer and it's really an expensive primer to me first eyeshadow which one I'm gonna use it's color soft 
it looks like soft brown and I'm using Trish McAvoy 29 blending brush wow damn it's very very pigmented oh my god be careful girls <laughs> it truly I need to take off a little bit too much wow it's truly very very pigmented okay let's just blend now blend blend okay we're finishing blending brown this beautiful color and now i cannot wait to use this yellow bright bright color which one we have in this palette Oh my god, look at how beautiful and it have a little bit shimmer. I really really want this yellow be very pigmented. I'm gonna use my concealer brush from Bobbi Brown and I'm gonna apply on my eyelid. I really want this yellow pop eyeshadow to be really really intense and I applying right now right here concealer from NORS but you can use any of your concealer most important you can see how it's like still a little bit wet here creamy and rich now I'm gonna use this beautiful yellow color and I use a Trish McAvoy brush number 40 okay yellow it's pretty it's have a shimmer but it's not goes intense like i expect because brown eyeshadow which one i use first it's went crazy intense but it's beautiful yellow and i don't know if you can see but it's a beautiful shimmer and sparkle sparkles now i'm gonna use another eyeshadow and it's right here i'll say it's like it's a peachy white peachy color Oh wow, it's pretty, very, very pretty. This color, which one we use here, it's actually very pigmented and I'm gonna use close to my eyebrow. It's have little shimmer. It's really, really pretty. It's very soft. Now I'm gonna use waterproof eyeliner from Chanel. and I apply very close to my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna use black eyeshadow, which one we have in a palette, and I am applying on top of my black eyeliner because I want a little bit more smoky, more like a soft black look. And I use a Trish McAvoy brush, and it's a smudge brush number 72. Same black eyeliner I'm gonna use under my eyes very very softly. And it's okay if it's not perfect. I'm gonna use again Trish McAvoy smudge brush and I'm gonna soak this black eyeliner from Chanel. Now I'm gonna use black color and I apply it with Trish McAvoy brush. Uh, name everything I shot. A little bit my crease. It's okay if it's not perfect. Remember, we're gonna blend, blending, blending, blending. I hope you like this look. It is my eyeshadow, very intense, but I think I give you enough neutral eye look already. This is why, like, I want this pop. Plus, it's so hard to find beautiful yellow eyeshadow, and this is such a beautiful yellow color here. Now under my eyes I'm gonna a little bit smudge too and we have left mascara primer and liquid eyeliner. For liquid eyeliner I'm using Tom Ford today. Just press 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 close to your lashes.
before mascara i always use in my lancome lash primers my number one favorite lash primer and now voila we're gonna use brand new mascara from fsm run it's a mascara volume um mascara volume fossil radical okay i never tried this it is my will be first time trying by the way i love how it smells this mascara and let's see how it goes Goes really, really rich and black, very intense black. It goes like on my lashes, it feels like it's a gel mascara actually. But let's see because this look is lots of lots of volume. It is volume mascara, but I think you definitely need to use underneath your primer. And I think I will need to let dry for a few seconds and reapply a um, couple times. I will say it's a good mascara, but it's not wow, wow mascara. It's not like volume mascara, it's like average <laughs> to me. Of course, we're gonna put on a bottom too. I'll be honest with you, my eyes look amazing, but now I need to care of my face. I'm gonna use Shiseido foundation stick and it's uh, uh, 37 SPF. It's a full coverage foundation and I'm obsessed, obsessed with this foundation because it gives me nice coverage. I don't even need to use any um, primer it stays really good and it just layers on my skin amazing and I'm gonna use right now Trish McAvoy foundation brush and look how it's good coverage how glowing my skin looking and again will cover everything what I personally don't want to see it after foundation I'm gonna use concealer and it's a nurse concealer it is full coverage concealer and it stays really really good and I apply like a letter V and again Trish McAvoy foundation brush love love Trish McAvoy brushes for my powder I'm gonna use La Mer new uh, moisturizer foundation powder and uh, oh it's so sunny outside and it have SPF it's perfect I time for me to use powder with SPF and this foundation also uh, this foundation also have SPF perfect perfect <laughs> oh, so pretty next step we're gonna use this bronze from um, from Estee Lauder and I like it we have three colors here and I'm gonna use fan brush from Trish McAvoy and I'm just gonna use all three color together and like from here close to my lips halfway and then I'm gonna go close to my hairline and under my chin let's slim me <laughs> bronze it's done my eyes so pop it's pretty definitely for this look i'm gonna use some neutral colors but for my blush and highlighter i actually decide i'm gonna use this two color no probably yeah this two color i will mix first for my highlighter because i feel it will be so pretty yes nothing wrong to use eyeshadow for your blush and plus you are saving money right this is it's a so big palette you can use this for eyeliner for highlighter for blush for eyeshadow it is 120 dollars but it's beautiful and i feel it's worth every single penny because eyeshadows they're not so small they're not small they're pretty pretty big and yes this is so pretty it's my highlighter look how pretty mm. <laughs> kiss of sun <laughs> and now I'm gonna you and I'm using Trish McAvoy brush number 65 and I'm gonna use this two darker color and I will use this is my blush let's smile a little bit and yeah oh it's very pigmented be careful <laughs> yeah yeah very very pretty 
blending remember blending 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 it's really really important and for my lips i'm gonna use a lipstick and lip liner from f saint laurent and by the way you should know uh like i use into the summer money product no multiple brands but i share it saint laurent uh then moisturizer george armani like george armani of saint laurent it's a sister brother company this is how i will name them okay let's do the lips on my lips i have lip liner of saint laurent number 70 also lipstick number seven tattoo couture and it looks really really make my lips Cool and pretty and my eyes looks amazing of course I'm gonna make another video because we have a lot of eyeshadows here and I cannot wait to make another one for you okay love you all please follow me on Instagram Katya Beauty Style and if you like any products I show you reach me and I will send you home and it's free shipping in United States okay love you bye